everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade apple butter. Now for those of you who don't know, apple butter is similar to applesauce, but is thicker and more cooked down. It is commonly eaten on bagels, toast, biscuits, or cornbread. My family has been making apple butter for decades and it started with my great-grandmother who lived in the Appalachian Mountains. We continue to make apple butter each year using the same recipe and a 25-gallon copper pot we inherited from her. One thing that distinguishes our apple butter from the kind found in stores is ours has red hots in it, which gives it a nice cinnamon flavor and pink color. Now, although we make apple butter in a very large batch outside, the recipe we use can be scaled down and made in the pot on the stove or in a slow cooker. Whatever size batch you make, there are three basic steps, preparing the ingredients, cooking, and canning. So, let's get started. The first step in making apple butter is to prep your ingredients. Our recipe uses three and a half bushels of John Gold apples, which look like this, two gallons of apple cider, five milliliters of cinnamon oil, 20 pounds of sugar, and six five and a half ounce boxes of Red Hots. You also need a large pot with a burner, a paddle to stir with, canning jars with lids, and bags to store the apples in. Now first, Peel, slice, and core the apples. The smaller the slices, the faster it will cook down. We usually do this step the day before since it can take a while, so we store the slices in bags until the next day. Clean all equipment used, including the jars, pot, and stirrer. When you are ready to start cooking, set up the pot on the burner, adjusting the flame so that it covers the entire base. You may need to adjust the flame throughout the cooking process. We are ready for the next step, cooking. First, add a gallon of the cider and some of the apples. We usually fill a large colander with apple slices, rinse them, and then add them to the pot, continuing to add more throughout the day. Begin stirring in a figure eight motion, making sure to scrape the bottom. Add more apples as the old ones begin to cook down until all have been added. Take turns stirring since this process usually takes five to seven hours. If the sauce is too thick, add some more apple cider. When the apples have cooked down into a sauce, test to see if it is cooked enough by placing a spoonful on a plate and tilting it. The apple butter should hold together. Once it's at this stage, add the sugar. It's best to add the sugar at a little at a time and test it to see if it is sweet enough. A good rule is to add until it's sweet and then a little more. Next, add the cinnamon oil. This should be done near the end of cooking so it doesn't cook out. Finally, add the Red Hots. Stirring in until completely dissolved. Now you are ready for canning. When canning, it's best to have a sort of assembly line. One person keeps stirring, one fills the jars, one wipes the jars, one screws on the lid, and another tightens the lids and places the jars in a box. When wiping the jars, make sure the rim is clean, otherwise the lid won't seal properly. The apple butter must still be hot when canning to ensure it seals. In total, we canned 58 pints, one half pint, and one 20 ounce jar. We actually ran out of jars, so we put the leftovers in freezer bags and froze them. The last step is to clean up and you're done. In conclusion, that's how to make apple butter. You prep the ingredients, cook them, and can them. I hope you enjoyed the video and get the opportunity to make apple butter yourself one day. It's really fun and a great fall activity, whether you make a small batch on the stove or a giant batch outside. Maybe it'll become a fall tradition for your family like it has for mine. Also, remember pints of apple butter make a great, unique gift for friends and family. If any of you make apple butter yourself, leave a comment describing how it went. Thanks for watching and happy fall, y'all.